Tyler, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me, guys. Appreciate it. Now, Tyler, um, shed some light on this. You have already graduated. I mean, yes. You're done. Yeah, I graduated in three and a half years. Ah, what's your major in? Communications and economics. So it was. Uh, it, it's good. It's, it's kind of the, the good thing about that is, is you know, you have to be here during the summer to take classes, and and they they kind of uh, you know give you the option to to take uh, the minimal amount of credits. But you know, now what is rhetoric? <laughs> I mean, because I know that's part of it, right? Communication and it's rhetoric. Rhetoric in there. Yeah. Well, that that's just the name of the major. So, but I mean, you're a communications major, but. And until I got my degree, I didn't know it was communications and rhetoric. Oh, oh <laughs> now then you wouldn't know that Quintilian said that rhetoric was the art of speaking well. I guess. I, 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 like, Plato's, like, I like Plato's de uh, definition it? better. It is the art of enchanting the soul. Ah, so, so I'm Mr. Not, Big <laughs> Graduate here. I mean, that, that didn't, doesn't <laughs> Did come you know out. That? It, it does come out. I was uh, my rhetorical process teacher, uh, Ms., uh, Professor Simonson, um, was uh, was a, actually a big influence on why I actually stayed in communications. He uh, he uh, uh, helped me through a lot of um, my public speaking classes, even though sometimes, uh, you know, I kind of kind of lose my composure on TV after. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, let's not go there. So, now, now, do you hear this little voice when you're being interviewed? And Actually, that was right a, back to your that, communications course. That was after I t uh, I took that class after the um, yeah. the Notre Dame game. So believe me, I, I've definitely got schooled up on interviews. <laughs> Didn't you tell him it was just French? <laughs> was just, you know? I, I told him I was grammatically correct in when I was speaking, so it was a it was a correct English sentence. So I didn't use any uh, slang terms. All right. So what's your favorite Plato? quote my favorite Plato quote um, I, I'm in football season right now I got I mine is past the salt <laughs> <laughs> uh, first game out of the box you guys come up with a win look very sharp uh, offensively uh, it's although you don't have to win the first game from a standpoint of what it says about your team it sure helps when you do yeah it does I think um, you know everybody was kind of uh, on edge about how this how the they, they put a lot of pressure on this first game, coming out of coming out of the season, going five and six last year, and and, and you know things didn't things didn't work out the way we were supposed to, and and kind of having a lot of unknowns coming into the first game, you know, young receiving core, you know, uh, a new addition at our offensive line, our left tackle, um, you know, some some different changes on defense and special teams. So you really everybody was in that unknown area, and, and Coach Wanstead just made it clear. He said just go out and and play hard. And uh, and you play hard for four quarters, good things are going to happen. And and you know he, he's going to recruit guys that can can obviously play and that are talented. But he said, I just want you to go out and play hard, have fun, play hard for four quarters, and, and good things will happen. And I think you know that's what we did. We came out and played hard, and and that's really what what pit football has been based on is going out, being tough, playing hard, and and uh, you know when you go out and do those things, good things are going to happen. And you know because obviously football is a, a tough game, and you got to you know be tough and play hard for four quarters. So. I think Plato said that too. <laughs> no, 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 Socrates. Socrates. <laughs> All right, now you start off the, the the game. I think you completed what six or seven, eight in a row. Now, were you feeling like, oh, the mojo's here today? I can feel it. I'm in a groove. I'm in a zone. Whatever you want to call it. No, actually, I, I didn't even realize how, what my what my completion percentage was, and I mean, it, I just knew that you know I, I wasn't I wasn't getting hit. My offensive line was was playing outstanding, and um, and they got a lot of confidence as far you know through spring and fall camp, and I, I know that I, I mean my my uh, my jersey was clean, um, other than a couple of scrambles where I had to actually get on the ground. They they did a great job, and actually the one sack that they let up was uh, was on me. It was I just miscounted the the guys in the box, and they brought a a, a defensive back uh, week, and that was my breakoff guy. So that they they didn't allow any sacks. That sack was on me. So they did a heck of a job, and and I really didn't didn't know that you know know how many you know passes I completed in a row. I just knew you know we were moving the ball, make making positive yards, and making first downs, and you know you, all those things kind of blur together when you're having fun like that on offense. You know, Plato, Plato would never say mojo. Never. Oh, sure. He, he would knew all about never. Mojo. Now, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I thought yeah, you had lost power. You graduated in th three and a half years. Well, oh. uh, I'm sorry. Now, I'm not even, even going to say anything. Uh, I'm not going to say anything about it. Get, getting back to get. No, go ahead. Yeah, He's going to smack me, all right? You know, I'm four credit hours I'll, short. I'll be a sophomore. And uh, <laughs> That's under dispute. <laughs> uh, question for you. Um, what's the difference? I mean, is there something tangible that you could say, this is how we're different? Uh, from last year's offense, um, I think we get along better. I, I, I do think. I think that had the relationships that we had this year um, coming into the season. We 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 enjoy being in the huddle together. We enjoy coming out to practice and 
you know, I think last year there were so many different personalities and we couldn't, we couldn't gel together. You know, it was hard to, to get us to come together. And, and, you know, obviously you guys know playing offensive line, if, if you know, you guys aren't gelling, you know, then no one else is going to, you know, going to do that as well. And that wasn't just with our offensive line. It was with our receivers and with our tight ends, our backs. Everybody was kind of, you know, not on the same page. And I would say that was the biggest thing this year is, is being, you know, being on the same page and being, you know, committed to, to winning and playing hard. And, and um, you know, so far, you know, I won't jump the gun. We're 1-0. We, we played, you know, pretty, pretty good. And, and, you know, we got a long way to go. But, you know, that's the biggest difference. Now, let me ask you, you strike me as a guy that, let's just say, one of those hogs up front miscalculates. Maybe uh, lets one guy through and he smacks you. I got a feeling you would be in his face, wouldn't you? Uh, not really. I, no, I'm oh, not, come on. No, now. I'm, not. I, I'm watching you on the I, field. I, I, and I didn't he think you were that way either. I didn't think you were. He oh, did. Oh, yeah. I Absolutely. <laughs> no, I mean, you're a fiery guy. I mean, you, say, yeah. you, get, a, you get in there and, and you're not afraid to tell other, other guys, say, hey, we got to do this or pick it up or things like that. Yeah. I don't mean, you know, to be, you know, oh, yeah, crushing I, them. Or I, I understand that. I, he... You I mean, disagree with him. The you offense, never disagree. The, the offense, the, the offensive line. I mean, I, I really don't say too much to those guys. They, I mean, even when I did get, you know, even when I did get, you know, sacked last year and, and, and you know things weren't going well, I don't, I don't say much to those guys. They, they, you know, they know what they, they've done wrong. You, you don't, you know, you don't need to really jumpstart those guys. You know, as you guys have known, the, the offensive line coach is usually the meanest guy on the field. And, and when they come off the field, they, they get it, they get it pretty good. So that. I don't really need to say too much to those guys, and you know they, they uh, you know, anytime you talk to those guys, it's always positive. It's always, you know, well, what you the big question is, do you feed them? Oh, exactly. Uh, <laughs> most yeah. definitely. Right. I live with I, my my uh, roommates, the, the center, Joe Vellani and I are our best friends, so we we live together. So they're they're always, they're always <laughs> over our house. And I'm, I'm usually like the, the the mom cooking dinner for them. They sitting down and uh, watching TV. Now, Tyler, we give an award every week, um, but not because you're a quarterback or you want it, because of your work in the community. Uh, we like to give our locker room leadership award to someone who's making a difference in the community, and this is sponsored by Chrysler Dodge and Jeep. And for your uh, impact, uh, especially with your involvement and you being an advocate of, uh, of Down syndrome and starting the, the foundation for it. And so congratulations, Thank brother. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Now, I know you have a very special friend, and that's uh, – tell us about Chris and, and how you got involved in this. Well, uh, Chris is um, 17 years old, um, is um, – uh, will be a, or is a senior um, in, um, in high school, same age as my sister. And he was a neighbor of ours when I was growing up um, in, uh, in West Allegheny. And, you know, I, I feel like I've known him ever since he was born. Um, we uh, were neighbors, and the neighborhood kids always used to come out and play, whether it be stickball, football, ba hockey, whatever it was. And you know, he was you know a young kid and came out and was always inquisitive about playing. And you know, as he got older, we you know we we uh, we implemented him in the games. He got a chance to score some goals and, and bat up and stickball and things like that. And you know, as as he grew, you know, he just became a, a another guy on on the, on the block. And you know, uh, you know, sometimes when when you have a kid with a disability, you know, some, he may not fit in. And the, the the people knew that you know the kids knew that you know if they they came to to play in in, in our neighborhood that you know this is was a, a normal thing. And and he was one of the guys. And 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 they knew that that if they didn't like that, then they would have a problem with you know with me. But he he was he was always someone who was around. And, and our relationship grew and. Um, he became a, a manager and a ball boy and a water water boy on on the football team um, in, in, in high school with uh, with my dad and we won the Whitfield championship and state championship all those things and 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 just got a chance to you know he, he basically grew up in in West Allegheny community's eyes you know he was a he was a focal point on the on the team and it was great to you know for him to do that and got a chance to to become a a, a young man and, and and you know a lot of times people with Down syndrome they you know they're kind of shunned away from the community, and they and they they're not given a chance to grow and and to to become a, a young adult. And um, obviously, uh, their their mindset is is you know is is because of the, the disease is not going to to grow. But you know um, socially they they can grow. So 
we started the foundation, the TC House, uh, two years ago, and it's it's been tremendous so far. We've uh, raised over fifty thousand dollars for it, and and we're looking forward for for big things in the future. But it's it's been great, and, and Chris has been great, and and uh, I think that you know being a quarterback and obviously being the fortunate enough to play Division One football and. Uh, you, you have to sometimes uh, realize that, that people aren't as fortunate as you, and, and you need to give back to the community, and that's something that I always wanted to do. This rhetoric is not bad. Chris Guff. McGuff. McGuff. Chris McGuff. Yeah, McGuff. Yeah. Oh, well, Irish. Irish. Oh, <laughs> I like that. Well, that, that's great. And uh, Tyler, congratulations on your first win, and uh, and really for making an impact in the community. That's Thanks, guys. Cool. Appreciate it. It's always fun to hang out with some offense. <laughs> <laughs> I feel comfortable. <laughs>